Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are live. In fact, we, we are. You can believe us. We are, in fact, live from Red Stewart Field and Brookhaven Academy. However, we have been having some camera difficulties, so that is what is uh, adding to the late stream start. Uh, Jarrett, fill everyone in on what you've seen out of the Hawks. It looks like uh, pretty much we summed up with a lot of speed, huh? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, you know, on that opening kickoff, Brookhaven, um, too quick. Uh, running plays that the Hawks stuffed and then they ran an option there on third down and they fumbled it. Kenzie West picks it up on a scoop and score and then on the ensuing kickoff they fumble. The very first play from scrimmage, KD Ketchin scores on a run but was called back for holding. The very next play, Brother Womack scores on a passing play. So that brings us to where we are now. First down play, it's a handoff up the middle, right up the gut, swarmed by a couple of Hawks linebackers. London Simmons, actually number 51, and number eight, Cooper Howard, the two that came in on the tackle. And the Cougars look like they're coming out and they're just running that standard veer offense. They, they hit that dive early a couple times and then the quarterback brought it out on the pitch on the scoop and score, but it looks like they're, they're definitely trying to hit that middle right now with no success. Tapper now has three receivers to his right, one to his left, it's a snap, it's the Bubble screen to Kenzie West. Kenzie takes across the middle of the formation. He's going to get all the way up almost to the first down marker. He's going to be shy by about three yards on a little bubble screen. And I tell you what, Kenzie West catches at the line of scrimmage, immediately hits full speed. Second down snap, it's a handoff straight to Katie Ketchings. He takes it up the middle of the field. He makes a couple of Cougars miss. He shrugs off another tackler across the 40, the 35, all the way down to the 30 in the opposite end. Katie Ketchings putting on some moves and showing some strength. Big run to get all the way for the first down and then some. Now flipping the field to the 30. Yeah, like seeing that right there from KD, really getting in, running behind those pads tonight. Second down, snap comes in, Tapper drops back. He's looking across the middle. He gets it across the middle, Kenzie West. Kenzie at the 10, down to the five before he's met by some Cougars. I believe he's inside the five, all the way marked down. It looks like at the four yard line, so it'll bring up a first and goal from the four. First and, sorry, first and goal here. Oh. It's a handoff up the middle to Josh Wooten. There's your boy. And Josh walks it right in for another Hawks touchdown. So Josh Wooten from four yards out, touchdown, Hawks. Mm -hmm. It's a sweep run out to the outside, but Twosky Jones is right there to stop him from getting anywhere. That's a gain of, we're, they're gonna give him maybe a yard maybe a on yard. that. It was a sweet play. Those an extended run to the outside, Jarrett. Those take time to develop. TJ made sure it didn't. It's like Here comes the snap to Tapper. Tapper's dropping back. He's looking, he's got time across the middle to Womack. Ooh, Womack puts a move on a defender. He's gonna try to skate through. Two more oh. would be tacklers. He's tripped up, shoelace tackle, takes it down at the 10 yard line. Yeah, that was pretty. As I was sitting here scanning the field, as Tapper was scanning the field, and, and I saw three open receivers. He just yes. picked one of them. Yeah. <laughs> he could have thrown that ball in multiple locations. It is the start of the second quarter. I'm Joseph Craven. Jarrett Myers here with me. The ever diligent Ingram duo of Rule and Benton. Rule running camera, Benton directing tonight as we are dealing with the stress and issues of trying to get the camera working so that you can watch. Guess what? That another, happened. Another flag. <laughs> Who would have guessed? <laughs> Who would have guessed? So there was a lot right there. The ball is snapped. The clock never starts here in I, the stadium. Yeah, I, so well, I think what they're going to have to call here, I don't know what they will, but Brookhaven was actually off sides. They're, as you saw, they were running on the field. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the referee had whistled the clock to start and it didn't, but they must have been because the Hawks went full tilt, snapped the ball, and Brookhaven was off sides. So, yeah. They're going to decline that, and it's going to be a touchdown. Hey, there it is. If you can get a touchdown without the clock ever starting, you'll take <laughs> that any any time of the week. Absolutely. Hawks have Taryn Green 32 on the uh, left side, corner position. Kinsey West playing corner on the opposite side, Sheffield and Womack. The safeties, who you would expect in any other game to be on the 35, instead they are right behind the linebackers because they know. Hey, here's our first pass of the night. Look at this. It's aired up, and it is picked off. Who else? Braylon Womack tiptoeing on the sidelines. He stays in bounds somehow, some way. He's cutting back across the field, and there's not a single human on earth that is going to catch him when he's making moves like that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> 
I, uh, how did he stay in bounds? I, I don't know how he did a lot of the things he just did there. <laughs> you know, some things you just can't explain, as they say. Here comes the snap. Hand off up the middle. Oh, he's still fighting forward. This oh, guy's got some it. space. Look at him, the breakout speed. He's going to try to get past. Oh, he does not get past Lazo. Great job by number 24. That is Derek Lazo. Brings him down with emphasis, but that is a huge run by number 11, Walt Smith. It was a nice little play design from the Cougars. Oh, that pitch. There's no one there. The Hawks are going to fall right on it. That's the second time tonight. First possession was a pitch that Kenzie West scooped and scored on. This time around, that is, is that Gonzo that yeah, jumped on it? Yeah, Gonzo it got him a fumble. <laughs> Love that. Number 70, Andrew Gonzalez jumps on the loose ball. Hawks take possession just over half field, as we like to say. The 51-yard line, as I have said in the broadcast before, Benton Ingram does not let me forget that, and that's why I love him. <laughs> we saw some of him last week, and he was putting on some moves. Here's the first down. He's going to scroll out to the left side. Dumps it down. There's a good catch by Dylan Harris. Harris up the sidelines past the 20 down to about the 16-yard line. Wow. That's nice, Jarrett. That's really nice. I mean, you know, you talk about that, uh, uh, Elliot being a – um, you know, a, a sophomore, first opportunities here in, in, in playing varsity in last week. And to be able to roll out against his body like that and make that pass, uh, to your point, kid's got tons of athletic ability. He's going to get right off the line of scrimmage now. Wachowski Jones, Sam Sheffield on the left side. They're going to look towards him again. Elliot oh, keeps wow. it, tucks it himself. Does he get in? He yes. does. Touchdown. I really Hawks. think they were trying to go back to Woods there, but – um, they read the play cut in front of him. Elliott makes a great decision, tucks it, and gets in for the touchdown. Great try by the young guys there. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, what, you know, to see a group of 10th graders step in right there and, and, and make the just the composure of that, that drive there. You saw no penalties. Right. Um, you know, some good decisions from the quarterback, some really good catches and, and, and runs after the catch by your receivers. It's exciting to see. Fourth down. Heavy, heavy set out there. A lot of extra blockers in for the Cougars. Pitch. It's high once again. Swallowed up. The ball is still loose. It's going to be fallen on by Garrett after a loss. So on fourth down, the Hawks will take over in outstanding field position with the running clock going here under two minutes to go in this first half. But here's Elliott on second down. Oh, what a pass to Robertson. Robertson shrugs off a tackler, walks in the end zone. There's the yeah, touchdown. That that's Woods what he's was, been looking he for. He was due the last <laughs> possession he got it this time. Touchdown, Woods Robertson. I, yes. I, <laughs> I know that Woods had been coming over talking to, to Elliott, so I think they had something in the works there. Maybe Woods is saying, come on, buddy. I need one. Feed me. Let's go. But he, he got hungry. it. He got it, he, and he made the best of it. And as we're right here going into halftime, we have to take a quick moment, and with the camera working, to point out the queen of game day, Miss Trudy Dawkins, who has informed us and is not bashful about it, that's for sure, that 31 years ago, she, on this very field, was crowned. I was about to say. Brookhaven Academy, homecoming queen. Isn't she the queen of Brookhaven? She that's what is. I've been told. Okay, <laughs> all right, yeah. And I think maybe she was the one that told me she was the queen of Brookhaven. So yeah, that doesn't surprise she, us. Yeah. Over the oh, fake the play action. There. Elliott, the right side, puts it right in the hands of Dylan Harris. Makes a couple moves, gets downfield. Man, I like that combination. Yeah, it looked great. Elliott uh, to Harris could be something to watch in the future. Oh, there's no doubt. Those two right there. And they, they played a lot together last year in ninth grade football, and they were a great combo there. And they're just continuing that here in 10th grade. On the second and goal situation. Got Josh Holmes in there. Playing the slot. Nice. There's Gibbs. There he is. That'll get him in the end zone. Plow straight ahead. Easy as you like it. Great hole opened up by the offensive line. Gibbs, the beneficiary, walks it in for six more. play that many football games um, 
it's it's a lot of wear and tear. Um, so this year we'll get that one bye week. Look at Elliott. Look at Ethan Elliott putting on the moves, putting on the jets, the speed down the sidelines. Great run of about 15 plus yards for Ethan Elliott on the quarterback keeper. I helped kind of get that softball program going, coach, for a long time before mm -hmm. Coach Julie. We were lucky enough to get Coach Julie McKinney in yes, there and amen. replace me. <laughs> She's fantastic. Um, but, yeah, that was many years coming. There's another touchdown for the boys. There it is. Gibbs once again. Was that Gibbs? No. That was Gibbs, yeah. Yeah, there it is. There he is. There he is. I missed him for a second there. 11 Gibbs once again in the end zone for six more. This should be the last play. Got a little dancing going on down here. Stingley and TJ on the sidelines dancing around. Cougars right at the middle. That's going to do it. That should do it. Yes, it does. So the Hawks defense, the young defense, is able to stop a promising Cougars drive right here at the end of the ball game. But that will put a pin in this one. 63-7, to your final score live from Red Stewart Field at Brookhaven Academy. Hawks came down knowing all they had to do was take care of business. Don't mess around, just do your jobs. They did it quickly and efficiently. That they did, that they did. I thought we had great execution tonight. I thought we got to see a lot of things. We got a lot of young kids in the game. And like we said, down the road, building that depth now is gonna be paramount. So just an awesome night. Look forward to another group of Cougars coming in next Friday night, see what we can do with them. Hope that you can join us at Community Bank Field. It should be a lovely evening under the pines. Business handled from Brookhaven tonight. And that will wrap things up for us. Thanks again for tuning in. I'm Joseph Craven. It's been a pleasure to present Hartfield football to you on Hartfield Live, powered by Strength, Roofing, and Siding. Everyone have a great weekend. Let's go, Hawks.